guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Kanisha Lachey here. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Kanisha. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing two amazing concealers that I heard nothing but great things about. And I'm also going to put them to a wear test. So it is 414 now. So I'm going to be running some errands. I'm going to actually be taking my nephew and my sister to a speed zone. So basically like a go-kart type of thing. And I'm actually going to be like out and about today. So I'm going to see how long it wears, which one wears better. So I'm doing the Makeup Revolution. And I'm also doing the NYX HD Photogenic Studio Concealer. So um, yeah, I heard nothing but great things about this one. And especially super great things about this one. Like a lot of people was comparing it to Tarte Shape Tape. So um, I'm excited to see which one I like better. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay guys, so I went ahead and already done my eyes and my brows just because I wanted the focus to mainly be on my complexion. So I'll put everything that I use on my brows and my eyes down in the description box so if you are interested in that then you can go down there and check it out but for complexion i wanted to keep it mostly drugstore for you guys so um hopefully it can be a little affordable for you now my primer is not drugstore it is the benefit professional um primer it's the smoothing primer but you can use the maybelline i think it's called like baby skin that one's a little comparison to that it's a little bit more like silicone feeling versus the Benefit one, in my opinion. Um, but you could use that if you want something like smooth, and that's basically what the Benefit one is. But foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline um, Fit Me, the Matte and Poreless. And I'm in the shade 355, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. I'm going to shake it up first. The brush that I'm going to be using is also from the drugstore. It's the Real Technique. So since my foundation is on and everything, I didn't use a lot just because my skin is actually starting to get a little bit better so I don't have to use so much um, foundation now. <laughs> Thank you God. So I'm just going to use my Real Technique sponge and just blend out everywhere. I like to do this so, oh, this powder, I forgot I had used this with my powder too. But I like doing this so I apply usually with my brush and then go in with a beauty blender just to blend out everything and make sure everything is nice and blended. So I like doing this and since powder I guess this is kind of like a good thing because it's kind of like setting my makeup as well. You guys since I haven't been on here in such a long time I feel like a lot of the products that I'm talking about now have already been talked about like so much but I wanted to try them for myself so I can kind of see if I like them or not. So I really don't know much about both of these concealers actually, but I know a lot of people have been raving about them and liking them, so I wanted to try them out for myself. So the first one is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade CW 6.5, and this one says that it's waterproof, it's for all skin types, it's medium coverage, um, and it's a natural looking coverage without looking cakey or obvious. So let's try this out first and then um, we're going to try the next one. So off back, this one kind of look a little bit more on the yellow side for me, but we'll see. So I'm just going to do lines first and see how that looks. So I'm just going to do it like this first and blend it out. You guys know I love using the like the real beauty blender because I just feel like that one blends out so much better. Like I like this one. Like I love the real technique brushes, but I feel like I just like the beauty blender better. Okay, so offhand, I do feel like it's pretty natural looking. And again, I didn't apply a lot. And two, since we are going into the summer, I don't like applying a bunch of makeup anyway because I just feel like it's just going to come off as hot mess. Um, so I don't apply so much makeup during the summer times. But I'm going to go ahead and apply one more layer of this because I feel like I want to be a little, a little brighter. 
it does feel really lightweight um i can say that um it does seem like it don't like move around that much so that's a good thing okay there we go yeah i like the second coat better so i feel like a pan um you do have to add maybe a, a, about two layers or just add a little bit more than you think you would need yeah i like that it's pretty it's really subtle really really subtle i feel like so that's a good thing and it's not caking up underneath my eyes because i like naturally my eyes i have like a lot of like little fine lines under my eyes um so it's really nothing nothing i can do about that but um it doesn't like crease or look cakey underneath my eye area so i do like that okay so the next one i'm going to be trying is the makeup revolution concealer so a lot of people are saying that it's a good dupe for the tarte shape tape concealer so i'm so excited to try this out and just see my opinion and my thoughts but a little bit more about this one it is vegan and cruelty free so that's good lightweight yet full coverage concealer to cover blemishes even skin tones and counteract dark circles with a matte finish that won't settle or accentuate fine lines and pores long wearing intense pigment that can also be used to contour and add definition so i'm excited so let's see i got the shade c10 so these are about the colors that i do use it does feel a lot the hd concealer off back it felt way more um like liquidy versus the makeup revolution it definitely feels more like the tarte shape tape so it does feel a lot more creamier and this one is i should have got a darker shade hmm a little goes a long way with this one i feel like for sure all right you guys so now what i'm gonna do and actually i noticed too the next one it did not like well they creased a tiny bit, but not like drastic where it's like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see. So this one's NYX and then this one's the Makeup Revolution. I feel like the Makeup Revolution look a little bit more on the cakier side to me. I think maybe because it's a little bit more on the creamier side too. Um, the NYX one looks more natural. They both finish very nice. I definitely feel like this, the Makeup Revolution is a matte finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the uh, both of these and I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier to set them just because I wanna use what I normally would use just to give it like a fair chance. Okay, so both of them are set. So now I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I am back. So it's been about four and a half hours. Yeah, about four and a half hours, almost five. Um, like I said, I was gonna be outside all day, which I was, I was outside. I went to a restaurant, I was in go-kart. So I had a lot of movement on this face today. So as you guys can see, I am really shiny, super oily right now and also i noticed that with the concealer um i feel like more so on the makeup revolution side it looks a little bit more on the cakier side the nyx one is a little bit more on the oilier side i feel like so right here i always get shiny like no matter what so with the concealers overall i think they are really good concealers I do, I think I feel like I like, I think I like the NYX one a little bit better. Just because like I said, even though I did have to apply two layers, but I feel like with that one, it looks a little bit more on the natural side and it doesn't look as bright underneath my eye area. Let me, hold on, cause I can't keep talking like this and I'm like so shiny. I did have to touch up, I'm not gonna lie. I did have to touch up. I touched up probably like around 5.30. And when I say touch up, not like add more product, just taking away my shine. So usually time when I do my makeup, I usually don't bring like set like more pressed powders or anything like that. The only thing I usually take is oil blotting sheets 
and that's about it so when i say touch up usually that means just taking away my shine with either a tissue or a, a oil blotting sheet okay so overall like i said i think i like the the NYX one a little bit better um i feel like too underneath my eyes it's not like a little white cast because i feel like with the makeup revolution it is more so a white cast underneath my eye like i don't think it's picking up on camera but i feel like it's more of a white shadow i don't know why um underneath my eye maybe i need to go a little darker with the shade like one shade darker or something that's like my take on it uh i do like both of them i feel like i would use both of them for different occasions maybe if i want to be a little bit more like natural super soft makeup i would probably do the nyx and then if i want something like caked if i want something like full face you know really going in on my makeup i would definitely do the makeup revolution because today was just more like a simple easy look so i wasn't doing too much but yeah so overall i feel like both concealers are amazing i do recommend trying them out if you are more towards like the natural side and you just want like a little coverage but not too much or you don't want to look overly done just want something like every day i would say go with the nyx and then if you want you could still do the makeup revolutions like every day but like i said it is a little bit more on the creamier side um a little goes a long way you don't need a lot of product but if you want a little bit more coverage definitely go with the makeup revolution so all in all i think this was a fun video i hope you guys maybe learned something maybe you want to try one of them if you do please let me know and let me know which one you like so yeah so until next time guys thank you so much for stopping by my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye